Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. In mid-scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. What do you reckon we should do? Sid! Hard at your studies, I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <gasps> oh! Then just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We dis... dismembered them. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss Mididol said, The best way I see how something works is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well then, your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh... <laughs> About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. Then. Um. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track.
These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minidol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. It's not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. You know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Ah, all finished. Yes, we did it. Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middledore's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Middledore and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look! We never used the cogwheel! You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Coming, Sid. Will there be thunder? Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Ah, oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully, she won't. This might even have been her idea, although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, 
Do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else it would be an opportunity, but to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill, one she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. 